March 3, 2014, Monday. Yesterday, this dog came in because he was not eating. He has swallowed a big dog treat, which is the size of 3 cm, on Saturday, 9 p.m. After swallowing this big piece, which is normally given in quarter pieces, this dog was not active. So on Sunday morning, yesterday, the owner bring him here for help to get out the swallowed piece. So we took an x-ray, actually didn't show much. And then the IV drip plus material and spasmogistic. Then in the afternoon at 3 p.m. we gave we had sedated the dog and gave uh, and passed the stomach tube in. The stomach tube went through so there was no obstruction. After that, the dog was given AD1 canned food and he ate. Overnight, overnight, he vomited out the following five, four, uh, four pieces. The, the original big piece he swallowed and the usual water pieces normally fed to him over the months. So since he's vomited out, so he can go home and uh, the owner has to be careful of him grabbing the big piece and quickly swallowing it because normally he doesn't get fed such a big piece. This piece is rubber, rather rubbery, it doesn't break easily and the dog must have swallowed it into the esophagus and later on, after giving the painkiller and dyspasmogistic it must have gone down to the stomach and since it ate the, the food so there was some irritation and the whole piece plus three other quarter pieces were vomited out overnight we discovered the pieces this morning, 3rd of March, 2014 at 9 a.m. So the advice is not to buy this type of rubbery treats and cut them to small pieces, as has been done here in this case. Now you can see the dog, it looks much more active and more alert. Open his mouth, only that his teeth. His teeth needs dental scaling. Now you look at the left side, further back, further back, further back, you can see that there is periodontal disease of the, of the back of the molars. And this periodontal disease, further up, no, up, upper one, no, upper one, you can see that the tartar is there. How old is the dog? I think this dog is six years old and has never had done dental. See this side? This side, the teeth. and. You can see uh, that the tartar is there and, uh, and uh, although the dog is being fed and, and, and well loved, the teeth has never been uh, checked. So a dental scaling will be best for this dog. Okay, I can go home already. Yeah. So as you can see, I have a uh, documented this case, a very unusual case of the dog being quicker than a man in grabbing the whole piece. And also, in this case, the owner did turn him upside down after he saw him swallowing the piece, the big piece, but uh, nothing was vomited out. So I presume that this big piece must have gone down the esophagus and got stuck halfway. That's why the dog didn't feel like eating in the morning. But after giving the antispasmogistic and the IV drips and passing the stomach tube in, it seems that the dog vomited out overnight. Without the need, of, without the need to give an antimatic. March to March 3, 2014, Monday 9 p.m. Bye bye events.